Today our topic is dynamics in roadways. Here we will learn how to apply uh, dynamics rule or Newton's rules in our roadway conditions. So if I show you this equation, uh, we saw f equals ma uh, from the, our dynamics uh, um, knowledge. Uh, it, that now this equation is developed based on uh, Newton's rule where there is no no re no resistances for example air resistance surface resistance friction those kind of resistances uh, were not considered uh, while developing f equals ma now in our road there are so many other kinds of uh, resistances so now we will see how we can use this e equation now whatever force we apply on a body that will produce some acceleration and some part of the force uh, we need to overcome the resistances so now what are the resistances in our road broadly three types one is air resistance that means if there is a wind opposite to our direction that will resist us or we might get some wind in favor of our uh, direction uh, direction of moving that will help us so we should consider this air resistance and then surface frictional resistance so our roads are not fully smooth it has so many roughness crack deformation fault holes so that will uh, that will resist our um, motion other one is grade or elevation if we go uphill the component of our weight will pull us back if we go downhill the component of weights some component of our of our weight will help us so then we simply we call uh, uh, resistance so if you go uphill that will pull us back if you go downhill that will help us in our uh, motion so we should consider this kind of uh, resistance or helping agent whatever you saw okay so first is air resistance now how to how to calculate air resistance is rho by 2 c d a f b square rho is the er density er density in now is density not unit weight so mass per cubic uh, feet or cubic sorry mass per volume Ma, if it is us unit slug if it is uh, si unit it should be kilogram per meter cube for us slug per feet cube so do not use pound pound is a force so pound per cubic feet is unit weight not the density okay and now commonly we use this density air yeah, density is we commonly we use this drag coefficient drag coefficient means some say for example the front side of your vehicle might be so smooth so that uh, air cannot resist uh, air cannot resist so much for example the airplane the front side of airplane is so smooth sharp so air cannot resist so much so on the other hand a bus a bus has um, a bus has a the front side of a bus is not so smooth it is like perpendicular to the wind so that resists a lot so this cd accounts for that kind of uh, smoothness uh, in front of the uh, car or vehicle whatever then af af is the area the projection uh, the projected area of the vehicle in the direction of travel that means the front uh, if we consider about a bus the projected area uh, of the front side of the bus that is called a f now b b is the e speed of the bus if your speed is high you will get more resistance if your e speed is low you will get less resistance now something else if wind speed uh, wind speed is very often neglected if wind speed is exactly known it is better to better to consider the net speed along the direction of vehicle with respect to air now this is uh, my uh, my suggestion but in most of the books in fact all of the books um, they do not consider the wind speed they just consider the speed of the vehicle or if the vehicle is standing then the speed of the wind uh, so we cannot consider um, both at a time but i suggest to consider both okay we will see on one example here uh, what is most nearly the force exerted by an 80 mile per hour wind in front of a standing bus so bus is standing wind is coming that means we will consider the wind speed 
uh, whose projected area is 100 feet square the wind is blowing in opposite direction to the bus that means whatever bus is standing the wind is coming toward the bus so it will resist me now as you drag coefficient 0.6 and your density is given so what is the the equation equation is given and known everything is known rho is that air density as we are using us unit so it is slack per feet cube c it is the coefficient typically 0 0.4 to 0 0.8 depending on um, on the um, car type or track track typically higher track bus typically higher say 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 for car car is very smooth at the front side so car may be 0 0.3 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.5 something like this and then uh, what is the area area is given 100 feet square that means 10 feet by 10 feet bus it makes sense uh, 100 feet and then the speed now speed must be in uh, in feet per second uh, not mile per hour because everything is uh, everything here is uh, unit sensitive so unit um, must be consistent so it's feet per, feet per second after calculating we got this amount of resisting force on my bus now if you want to start this bus and start moving uh, if i apply this amount of force this will not move this will tend to move i must apply more than this so this is this amount of force will be lost by the air okay now we will see the surface or rolling resistance so if we push something there will be opposite force that is called frictional force which is mu times n n is the normal reaction or even sometimes we call r r, r is like more popular because sometimes n means newton actually this n means normal force so r is a good term but whatever it is hopefully you understand now if there is a there is a grade so if there is a grade uh, then my normal component is w cosine theta w cosine theta now if the angle is very small w cosine theta is actually um, w because if the angle is very small cosine very small angle equals one uh, if you have calculator you can try say cosine three degree how much it is almost one so uh, sometimes we use we do not we, we neglect the angle is simply uh, mu times w so whatever if there is up, up uphill or downhill whatever it is always the rolling resistance is mu times w now how to calculate uh, mu? mu mu depends on the velocity or speed of your car or your vehicle whatever so in us unit we use this equation in si unit we use this equation so if you know the weight of your vehicle and the speed you can find mu one in this way you can find the resistance by the um, by the friction or frictional resistance so a problem is given the car weight is four keep speed is 80 mile per hour what is the surface resistance so i converted my speed into feet per second you can use this conversion or simply you can multiply 1.47 that will give you this directly then weight is given simply then where the equation is known we found our rolling resist sorry the coefficient using this equation and insert it we got it it's very uh, straightforward just uh, plug in then great resistance when we, when we will go up so if, if i see no if i go back to my yes so this figure so when there is a uphill or downhill uh, there is a one component of weight that is w sine theta that if i go up this will resist me in moving if i go down this will help me so we need to detect this portion now if my angle is very small say sine theta can be only theta so if, if my angle is very small whatever the uh, whatever the angle uh, the sine theta will give you the similar uh, similar uh, value for example if angle is say 4 degree so sine 4 degree sine 4 degree whatever the value of sine 4 degree that is same thing about uh, uh, the 4 degree in in um, uh, in radian or even that is similar to the grade similar to the grade uh, so here the 
they wrote here if longitudinal elevation theta g is very small sin theta can be written as tan theta that is equal to the grade grade means just the feet per feet uh, or the slope feet per c feet or meter per meter that so say four percent grade that means if i go 100 i will rise four so four by 100 is our grade or your grade in decimal so um, grade resistance is weight times the grade in decimal so we will see we will see one example a 4000 pound car has a speed of 80 mile per hour 4 percent upward now upward means it will resist that is a positive resistance if it is downward it will help me that is a negative resistance so rg is wg w is the weight g means the slope 4 by 100 it, it should be in decimal this is the way to find grade resistance. Now, um, effective. What is called effective tractive force? Tractive force means that means pulling, pulling force. If equals ma and all the resistance. If I can rearrange, I can bring these three left side. F minus this minus this equal ma. So both both equations are same, but here I can simply call this portion as effective. That means after overcoming the resistance, whatever. Uh, force will be available that will cause the uh, acceleration this is the way to find uh, effective force now when we start the car or, or the vehicle I must apply this amount of force only to this resistance to just to start the motion after that whatever my force will be available which I call effective that will produce the acceleration so from this force we can also calculate the power uh, needed uh, power uh, in so in uh, in power uh, power, uh, power formula you know that uh, power is uh, force time v force time v that means uh, whatever the force you are applying uh, if you multiply the velocity you will get the power required whatever the power you need so sometimes uh, we use this equation because when you buy the car you can see, you can remember that um, they tell you that the, the this car is 200 horsepower vehicle so that horsepower is actually the power so and a horsepower is not a technical or book it's a book uh, book language but it is uh, more about um, practical practical uh, unit so horsepower what is horsepower uh, one horsepower if i can remember one horsepower is for 746 uh, what mm, Yes, most probably for 746 watt is one horsepower. Uh, watt is the unit of a power, or what is joule per second? What is joule? Joule is work, work. So work, work per time. I don't know why I brought this concept here but you may need it yes work per time is joule per second that is called watt w a t t watt so uh, most probably 746 watt equals um, equals one horsepower so if you find here oh also in in us unit this is in us unit this is uh, 550 and uh, this is 550 most probably um, 550 uh, uh, feet per uh, feet per uh, pound sorry feet pound per second now why i told it in us unit uh, work is expressed as joule in us unit it is feet pound divided by second is power so one horsepower equals 550 pound feet pound per second or for sorry, 746 watt so if you need it you can calculate it okay so mm, here uh, one example is given another example is given uh, 
प्रोडक्ट इट ट्रैक कैन अप्लाई मैक्सिमम दिस अमाउंट ऑफ फोर्स इन फ्लड रोड द एयर रेजिस्टेंस टू पाउंड रोलिंग रेजिस्टेंस थर्टी पाउंड वेट ऑफ द कार इज थ्री थाउजेंड पाउंड वॉट इज द एक्सिलेशन ऑफ द ट्रैक सो वॉट एवर एप्लाई आई एप्लाई आई टू डिडक्ट माई एयर रेजिस्टेंस रोलिंग रेजिस्टेंस ग्रेट रेजिस्टेंस वॉट एवर रिमेनिंग दैट विल कॉज द एक्सिलेशन so acceleration is this divided by this so i applied 290 minus resistance divided by my mass then i am getting my acceleration so whenever there is resistance i need to deduct my resistance to find my acceleration okay before starting the next example i will i i will pause here uh, thank you